Okay, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So good day again everyone. Um, today we will be learning about inverse variation and to be specific we will be learning two things about inverse variation. The very first one would be translating. Uh, translating. For what? Okay, translating. Or translation. Okay, um in this translation part um I will not expound on this uh, too much because um I do know that in our previous video in the direct variation we did a very uh, a long video for translation of an uh, of um, word problems into the formula equation of your variation okay so it would be the same case but the difference uh, would be everything after the term varies directly or varies inversely would be placed on the denominator okay so for us to have a better understanding of this one let's have our first example being x varies inversely as y okay so in this case uh, this term varies inversely just like in direct variation this would be our k our constant of variation and then this one would be our x and as y this would be still the, the va variable y now what is the difference between this term varies inversely Varies inversely just simply indicates that everything after the varies inversely would be placed on the denominator. Denominator. So being, this one would be x is equals to k over y. Everything after the varies inversely would be on the denominator of the variable k. Okay, so I hope that that is clear enough. So let's have another example so that you can further understand. Say we have the square of x varies inversely as, um, say we have the sum of a and b. The sum of a, oh sorry, mali, I already wrote the equation. The sum of a and b. So in this case, what we need to do is we need to identify our different variables. The first one would be the before varies inversely. The entire statement sa says the square of x. So meaning the square of x. So x squared. And then immediately after the varies inversely, every given um, terms or equation or expression that you can uh, come up with with your second part will be on the denominator. So this is equals k. And this one would be as the sum of a and b. And we s we write the sum of a and b as the, the sum of a and b, a plus b. Giving us an equation of x squared is equals to k over a plus b. Okay, so very basic lang. And uh, last one is we will have um, s uh, something that is a little bit complicated. Say we have... Um, um, z plus half of x varies inversely with the square root of uh, with the square root of say um, with the square root of the the square of um, a plus b. Yeah. Say we have this one, a little bit long, but let's uh, identify the first half of our um, variation. We have here z plus half of x. This z plus half of x can be expressed as z plus half of x is simply one half x or one one half of x half of x yeah we have this one okay it's one half times x or just simply x over two and then our varies inversely would be of course equals k and then the last one would be the square root of the square of a plus b so the square root of meaning this entire equation would be under the square root sign and we need to get the square of a this one square of a and plus simply p the square of a plus p okay giving us an equation of z 
plus x over 2 is equals to k over the square root of a squared plus b. Okay? So, being able to uh, come up with your, um, being able to come up with your uh, expression is important for you to translate properly. Okay? So, yeah. So, this would be for the translation part. Okay? We will continue the um, other part, which is, of course, solving on another video so that we will not cramp up, um, the entire video with ano, with a uh, with two lengthy explanations okay so again we will continue that on another video thank you for listening everyone if you would have any other question you can consult the video again or me on our group chat assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh